Well, this time last week, our next guests were headed to St. Louis where they had some bragging rights to show off and attend this special event. Club Vibes is a mentoring service for visually impaired or blind youth. Sue Buckley is the founder and president, and we want to welcome her and some of the members of her team here today. Good to see you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Uh, we got Ilya with us, Tammy, who volunteered Hello. and was present with us, and then Sophie. So right. they're both seniors incoming this year uh, in high school. All right, very good. Talk about the trip and how it went. It was excellent. Uh, Illy wanted to talk a little smack to the St. Louis <laughs> folks because, okay. uh, you know, we took first place with the National Fitness Challenge this past nine months, and uh, St. Louis was the second second team. They were coming in close on us, but uh, we, we took that. So that was the main purpose of our trip. And uh, Illy met To go up there and talk smack. Well, <laughs> no, I, well, Illy, I told you you couldn't do that, right? Yeah, I didn't do it. Don't worry. Yeah, you did. yeah, yeah. Right, we behaved ourselves. Okay, and so you, you got to go up there. How was it, Illy, when you went up? Well, you know, it was the first time going without my family uh, to a different state, like two or three states away, and it was just, it was great. So, yeah. um, lots of learning experiences. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, how was the the fitness challenge? The whole the whole several months that you did it, how the bonding experience, or what was that like to do it with this team? Uh, it really helped me a lot. Uh, I lost a lot of weight, a lot of weight during the, those nine months. So. Um, it's very great. Oh my goodness, I'm saying this. I, I was just thinking when he started out with us, he was probably within a year of sight loss. So yes. Ilya has taken on a lot of roles and responsibilities mm. that it's been amazing with the group. And uh, even though he's somewhat younger than some of our folks in Club Vibes, he's kind of been a leader in some ways. And same thing with Sophie. I just, you know, before we came on, Russell, we were talking about her going to high school, but she was also talking about, where are you going, Sophie? What, I'm what? going to Johnson University to take dual enrollment credits. Johnson yeah. University, so you're gonna do dual enrollment. I think you've got a mic down there somewhere. Oh, is that your are So you're gonna do dual enrollment already, huh? Yes. And how was the trip for you? I thought it was a great experience. I loved seeing all the new technology for low vision. Oh, that's terrific. And, and what has it been like to, to volunteer with this group? It's been amazing. Um, you just kind of end up being family. Yeah. So you kind of, you know, there's a lot that we didn't, a lot of people we didn't really know to begin with because they had just kind of come into Club Vibes. But by the end of our trip, it just kind of like everybody had known each other for years and being able to kind of guide them and just seeing the excitement as they learned about new technology and even getting the opportunity to try the new technology is just, it was pretty amazing just to sit back and watch and, yeah. you know, and, be there for that. And, and our sister station, KSDK our, in yes. St. Louis actually did a news story on you. They all, right? did. They came down to the arch, and uh, we had dinner together with the the St. Louis team, the National Fitness Challenge team, and uh, so in addition to the smack that we talked, we did have <laughs> a, a serious conversation with the reporters yeah, there and yeah. told them about all about it. But the one thing, Russell, I would say besides the Club Vibes Fitness thing that Missy Kane and some of our folks right. participate in here in town with the blind and visually impaired, we actually entertain more than just the fitness thing i mean we learn mm -hmm. about technology we learn about how do you travel independently we learn about job opportunities scholarships uh, we met blind attorneys we met people who own their own business that's what was going on at this national oh, american great. council of the blind so it was it was really inspirational to me to take 15 new people sure. to the conference. Uh, how can folks learn more or even help Club Vibes? Well, they can log on to our website, of course. We like to say we dash around a lot, Russell, so club-vibes.org. And uh, we have a blog there. They can learn about all the things we're doing. We have a calendar of events. They can learn about becoming a volunteer like Tammy and others to help us uh, navigate through a difficult airport like Union Station Hotel. She got lost too, Russell, I'll just say. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, fully sighted and lost. So, <laughs> club-vibes.org, and uh, we'd love to hear from them. Very cool. Great meeting all of you again. Thank seeing you. Thanks you for all having again, us. And, and just Appreciate so glad the trip went well. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Thank you.